how is my Zoom quality so freaking good and everybody else's isn't? Well, I get asked this question all the time. If you have what you would call fuzzy Zoom or you wanna level up your Zoom calls, presentations, webinars, speeches, et cetera, et cetera, so that it looks like this with fancy graphics and overlays, I'm gonna go over two secrets to get the best quality presentations inside of Zoom. I'm Laria Petrucci, let's dig in. Secret number one. Here's the thing, Zoom has a lot of native functionality that's awesome, but it cannot do any graphics, meaning you cannot have your name across the bottom for a lower third. You can't do overlays, animated graphics, or anything fancy. So it needs to be connected with broadcast software so that you can then send that production, a broadcast quality production into Zoom. I'm gonna show you my broadcast software, which is Ecamm, but this also works with any other downloadable software like OBS or vMix. However, it does not work with StreamYard or Restream. You will not be able to send your broadcast from StreamYard into Zoom. Heads up. The feature you need inside of Ecamm is called Virtual Cam Note. There's different language for each of the different softwares, but essentially what you're looking for is this feature that can send out your entire production into external software like Zoom. On Ecamm specifically, you will need the pro plan and it's well, well worth it in my opinion. By the way, we have a free Ecamm demo down below in the description. Once you have the pro plan activated, then you are going to go into your output menu inside of Ecamm and scroll down to Virtual Cam. You'll first need to install Virtual Cam. It is not a big deal. It takes two seconds. Continue and then put your password in, no hacking, and it's installed, super simple. Make sure the on is checked, and then you also want to turn on virtual mic as well. Side note, with the virtual mic, if you're using a mixer, whether that's software or hardware, that audio will be transferred and the mix will be transferred into Zoom. When you go into your Zoom, you're going to need to go down to the little mute and video buttons and click the arrows beside them. In the video section, you're gonna choose Ecamm Live Virtual Cam. If you have any audio or sounds in your presentation, you're going to wanna make sure that you go into Ecamm Live Virtual Mic as well. Secret number two. Here's the bad news. You can put all your efforts into creating a high quality production inside of software to send inside of Zoom and your presentations can still look fuzzy and terrible quality because Zoom itself defaults to 180 to 360p resolution. What? But let's break that down. If you're on the pro level account, you can email Zoom and ask for 720p. You may or may not get it. They don't always comply. If you're on the business plan, you can actually get 1080p. Yippee! Downside to that is that you need 10 licenses as a bulk. You cannot get it with a single license, which means you're paying $200 a month to get 1080. Or you have another option. You can join our our Zoom group membership where you get enterprise level features at the top, which would normally cost you $625 a month for 90% off. I know that's insane, but my mission is to rid the world of bad Zoom quality and calls. So you'd get 500 meeting attendees, 500 webinar attendees, unlimited cloud storage, and of course that 1080. If that higher quality sounds interesting, that link is in the description. And next up, I want you to watch this video about how I add graphics to the production software so that you can actually get it into Zoom and have all of the fanciness going on with that higher quality.